fizzling savings at Brookings Auto Mall. Right now, pre-owned 2016 Chevy Malibu start at just $13,995. Special purchase, eight to choose from. Details at BrookingsAutoMall.com. Brookings Auto Mall, what's in your driveway? The Sioux Falls School District has chosen two schools for the district's first dual immersion programs. We'll tell you about that coming up. Plus, a city of sculptures. Just ahead, we show you the art form that's spreading throughout Sioux Falls. And troubles on the rise for homes and businesses at Lake Ponset. Find out why the water isn't the only problem. Good morning. This is Kelloland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. Well, areas of Kelloland are waking up to a much different day as the rain and snow has cleared off. Let's send it straight to the Storm Center to find out what you can expect in the weather today. Good morning. Well, the rain and snow is done, as you mentioned, Perry, and now we are looking at a decrease in cloud cover for eastern South Dakota. So that will eventually give way to mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies across all of Kelloland today. Temperatures will be warmer than yesterday, but still below average. We're watching for isolated showers tomorrow, mainly in the eastern South Dakota and western Minnesota. It's about a 20% chance, so not everybody will get wet. Dry and warm on Saturday, forecasting highs in the 70s in southeastern South Dakota. But for next week, unsettled and cool. Looks like we'll have afternoon highs next week. In the 50s, many of those days, we may be able to hit the 60s on occasion. More details on the Kelloland Live Doppler forecast with Brian Karstens in just a couple of minutes. All right, thanks, Scott. Well, many areas of Kelloland are looking for some dry weather and clear skies today. The Lincoln County Sheriff's Office posted this picture from T on Facebook. They wrote, if you were wondering how our gravel roads are doing with all this extra rain, here is your answer. Well, on Lake Ponset, it's week seven of flooding and high water continues to batter homes and businesses. While people are sandbagging to protect their properties, the water isn't necessarily their biggest problem. Very concerned because we, every time the wind blows, we're going to see damage to structures. We're going to see damage to shorelines. Most of the businesses we talked with say they plan to open for the season on May 18th. To find more, hear more from people on Lake Ponset, head to this story on Kelloland.com. A developing story we'll be following. The Yankton Sioux Tribal Police are asking for your help to find a 7-year-old girl. Authorities say a Lani Rainbow was last seen leaving Marty Indian School Tuesday afternoon with her biological mother, Monica Kornoyer. Police say the two may be heading to California in a red Cadillac with California plates. A couple of schools in the Sioux Falls School District are looking to include dual immersion in their curriculum. The two schools chosen are Rosa Parks Elementary and Hayward Elementary. It's a 50-50 program where fluent English-speaking kindergartners will learn subjects in Spanish and fluent-speaking Spanish kindergartners will learn subjects in English. You have native English speakers and native Spanish speakers, both are who are trying to learn the other language. And 50-50 um, would mean that, that they spend 50% of their day learning in English and 50% of their day learning in Spanish. A program like this not only focuses on helping students learn two languages, but also opens up their minds to other possibilities. Well, the Catholic school system in Sioux Falls has announced a big change. The district will now be known as Bishop O'Gorman Catholic Schools. There are two main reasons for the change. The district serves over 2,600 students from several different communities, not just Sioux Falls. And they want more people to understand they offer preschool through 12th grade. Get ready for new art in downtown Sioux Falls. Sculpture Walk is installing the new sculptures on Saturday. But the heart of the city isn't the only place you'll find the art form. From the airport to college campuses, you can find sculptures just about anywhere you look in town. It just doesn't happen with one or two people. I mean, it's a citywide effort. And, there, and there's people who are willing to invest in the city. And they're willing to volunteer their time and treasure to really make these things happen that make Sioux Falls really a special place. Hansen says this year's Sculpture Walk downtown will feature seven local artists, and you're in luck. It should be a nice weekend, right? I think so. I think we're going to find some good weather in this forecast. Certainly today's better. Tomorrow, there's just a little something to follow here, and uh, we wanted to bring this up before the seven-day. See this little ribbon of 
showery weather or maybe a small thunderstorm here and there. That's 65 for high in Sioux Falls, but it just comes with that catch. And boy, it's been a season where any little front like this moves through and we've seemed to have managed to have had some rain and I, I would say at least at this point we better put that in the forecast. I do think though by Saturday, Oh, that looks nice. 70 the high in Sioux Falls. Aberdeen will be a little cooler in the lower to middle 60s. And then by Sunday, we do bring in a chance of a little rain. The front, though, goes south. So we're going to see cooler 60s. Monday, here's something to think about. Now, at this point, we're still on the fence on how to get this forecast going. But I think that it's safe to say that with a boundary in place south of the front, it will be time to think about severe weather in Nebraska and Iowa. Southeast South Dakota is close enough to be on the watch list for maybe some storms, but we're just kind of splitting the difference on the temperature forecast right now. About 62 is our going there on Monday in Sioux Falls. Aberdeen, you could get some rain chances too early next week, but I tell you what, the battle will be on and then the cold air will win. And it's just been that way most of the spring here. So 50 degree weather next week is looking most likely. Pier 2 will get some good days. We got 66 there on Saturday and then things turning by Sunday into Monday. Rapid City also turning cooler next week. So enjoy some 60s here the next couple of days. Back to you guys. All right. Thanks, Brian. Thanks for joining us for Kelloland on the go. Be sure to join us on air for midday in Kelloland. Until then, you can get up to the minute developments right here on Kelloland.com. Have a great day.